Oh. Oh, that's messed up there. You got that on camera? All right, so I'm editing the video right now that you're about to see, and uh, you guys can clearly see it. My face is super sunburnt because uh, this past weekend, I went ahead and went to two beaches, one of which um, there was a photographer that was standing on top of a mountain. Um, and it's just, they're just taking a picture of us because my girlfriend's friend got engaged and uh, they wrote something in the sand and uh, it was just a really good angle to get what was going on that day. The bad part was the photographer was standing in front of the sun so if you wanted to stare at the camera um, you would be looking straight into the sun. Check this picture out. This is me staring straight into the camera just getting sunburned just sun smashing my face if i made a video right after this event right here you would have seen it my face was like a tomato i got super sunburned at least uh right now it's kind of all right uh, but you can kind of still see it though being sunburned is one thing but being sunburned on your face is another thing man but yeah i just wanted to put that out there let's go ahead and watch this video Remember those days, those L's, I could sleep right now. I get paid, fake game, stay in peace. I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my wolf and my attempt on trying to move it into the Bashir tank. So earlier today, I went to the house to record and the topic of my video was moving my wolf with my Bashirs. But obviously, as you can tell by the thumbnail, uh, it didn't go as planned. If you're curious about how that went, I'll go ahead and play the clip right here. Give me that. <sighs> All right, he's in the tank now. As you can see, he's uh, right there. He's uh, it looks a lot bigger in the sump, but he should be okay. See, he's freaking out a little bit. You know what? You know what? He looks, <sighs> man, it looks kind of, he looks kind of small, man. He looks kind of small. You think, you think it'll be all right? You think? Oh man, it's gonna it's, it's a close call. It's a close call. Man, it's a close call. I don't know. Is it a should we leave him in there? Let me see when he gets next to them. Let me see when he gets next to the Bashir. Then I can make a I can make a solid um guesstimate. Oh no, it's bad. He's too he looks. Oh yeah, dude. I don't know. Oh, he's still a baby. Still, he's still a baby. I don't know, man. This is kind of sketchy. I think he'll be all right. You know, I I think I think this guy will be all right. camera won't focus oh hold up he's just a little scared what do you guys think it's it's very close it's very close I don't know about leaving him overnight nah I think, I think I'd say it's a no go right there sometimes you just gotta Sometimes you just gotta make that call, man. Sometimes you just gotta make that call. That's a no-go for me. Still too young. I'm gonna put him back into the sump. Let him grow a little bit longer. Yeah, that was a no-go for me, man. What do you guys think? Do you think the wolf would've made it? Leave it down in the comments below. So as you can see, my attempt was not good. My biggest Bashir would be able to eat that wolf easily. Uh, I was gonna try to leave it overnight, but I didn't want to come back to uh, a missing wolf and a really full Enli. So I went ahead, took him out of the tank and put him back into the sump. And we're gonna go ahead and try again after he grows out a little bit more. I think when the wolf is around eight to nine inches, that's when we're gonna be able to add it into the tank. My Bashirs are growing kind of slow, so I have confidence that my wolf will be able to catch up sooner or later. Uh, the growth spurt of my wolf is way faster compared to uh, my Enlis and stuff. 
have. So the main reason why I wanted to move the wolf into the Bashir tank is because I wanted to supercharge my sump. Now that all my K1 is confined in that little bucket, uh, I have the whole left side of the sump to do whatever I want with it. And because I have a lot of Bashirs in this whole system, I wanted to fill this up with plants. One of the main things that's holding me back right now is my wolf needs a lid. If I don't have a lid, it's gonna jump out and uh, I don't wanna risk it. So in order for me to grow plants out of the sump, uh, I need to remove this lid or even get an egg crate. But if I get an egg crate, it'll be difficult for me to maintain and feed the wolf while it's in the sump. So I think it's better to just do all of this when this wolf is out. But uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe in the meantime, we'll go ahead and find a different solution while we're waiting for this wolf to grow. But my goals for the sump has changed. Uh, before my sump was just filled with K1, K1 flying everywhere and stuff. And then uh, it got a little bit better when I had the divider. But now my K1's all confined in one area, so it's easier for me to control. And I just wanna dump a lot of plants in the sump. And when it comes to plants, I'm talking about like pothos or lucky bamboo. These are um, like terrestrial type of plants. I'm, I'm not talking about aquarium plants. Uh, maybe I'll leave some aquarium plants in the bottom, but my main goal is to have some terrestrial plants in the system just because they're so efficient at pulling nitrates out. The thing is when it comes to adding in plants into the system, I'm not trying to replace water changes. I'm just trying to help the system maintain good water quality in between water changes. So I'm still going to be doing the same amount of water changes, but I'm hoping the addition of new plants will improve the water quality or keep the water quality at a more stable level compared to not having like terrestrial plants at all, if that makes sense. That's the main reason why a lot of people put pothos in their filters and stuff, uh, because they consume extra nutrients and uh, they help with nitrates and stuff, but you have, to ha you have to have a lot. Let's go ahead and put this right here. It's a pothos video today, it's a pothos video. I already have two strands that's in my tank right now. I have them just kind of chilling on top of the aquarium. Uh, I went ahead and just modified my lights by moving them up a little bit. I have them mounted on the brackets on the wall and uh, that way the lights can hit the pothos and then go straight into my tank. I did the same thing for my sump. For the meantime, I went ahead and lifted up the brace that's on my 40 Young B like stand and I uh, went ahead and mounted the lights on the brace. So the lights aren't technically resting on the aquarium anymore, they're resting on the stand itself. That way it gives me the opportunity to shine light on whatever plant that I put on top of the tank and then whatever is left is penetrated back into the water. Depending on how many plants I plan on adding into the sump, I might remove the aquarium plants. Uh, I have different tanks I can put them in, like the, the moss and the nubius. I can move them into the goldfish tank, I can move it into the datanoid tank. I can relocate them easily, but depending on how much pothos that we buy from Home Depot and stuff, that will depict if I'll leave aquarium plants in the sump or not. The way I see it is the more pothos I add into the system, uh, the more efficient it'll be at consuming nitrates and stuff. I was thinking about buying like four or five of the big pots, taking all the dirt out and just throwing it all into my sump. That'd be pretty nuts. I might not be able to leave the aquarium plants at the bottom of the tank because the pothos will pretty much suffocate everything below it but um, the shrimp and whatever fish I have left in there, um, they can still stay in there. And I'm sure they'll breed even crazier with the pothos roots growing all over the place. That's just an idea that I have for my sump. Uh, I didn't really have much planned for this video right here. The video was supposed to be me moving the wolf into the Bashir tank, but as you can see, I didn't go as planned. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update video of what I have planned for the aquarium for this week. Yeah, if you guys have any tips when it comes to adding in the pothos into my sump or any other plant that you guys have had experience with that was really good at consuming nitrates, let me know down in the comments below. Again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and peace guys.